How's it going? Belkin Thunderbolt Dock Review. I got it last week. Comes in this box. It's very, very simple packaging. It's got this, the dock, and a power cord. That's it. Obviously, I've already got my dock plugged in. It does not come with a Thunderbolt cable. So, make sure you buy a Thunderbolt cable. <clears throat> this one happens to be 2 meters. Got it on Amazon. I'll put the link below. This is what the dock looks like. I've got a whole bunch of things plugged into it, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> on my initial speed tests, um, I'm getting a five-fold increase in speed. Um, I use these two Western Digital my books back here. They're three terabyte USB 3.0, and I've been plugging them into my USB 2.0 ports on my 2011 MacBook Pro, and I only get about 25 meg a second, which is pitiful. Now with the dock, I'm getting up to 120 meg a second and read speeds are even faster than that. Um, so performance wise, I'm really happy with the dock. I'm able to now edit videos while rendering videos and it doesn't skip during playback. Whereas before, I, I couldn't play three or four seconds of the video before it started skipping. So I don't know how I got any work done. The dock has been somewhat inconsistent, which is what I don't like about it. and. This is a pretty common thing with aftermarket products. Um, and so here's what I'm experiencing. Uh, my computer, when it wakes from sleeping, the monitor, and this might be a function of the monitor and not the dock, the monitor comes up with a blank display, it wakes up from sleep, and then it shuts back off. And the computer switches from one screen to two screens, and then back to one screen, and then back to two screens, and then back to one screen. And each time it does that, this display just kind of wakes up and goes back down. It stays black. After the fourth time, the monitor kicks in and it's connected, which is really odd. Now, it might be a function of my, my monitor's sleep section, uh, sleep setting. I'm thinking that it, it might be cycling through each input and then coming back around to HDMI 1. I, I don't know. Um, I might be able to set my monitor to not sleep, but it's just something to be aware of. Um, also, for the first time this morning, when I woke my computer up, it was on one one monitor only, and turning this monitor off, waking it from sleep, didn't switch it back to two monitors. Unplugging the Thunderbolt cable from the monitor also didn't switch it back to two monitors, and I found the only way I could get it to go back to two monitors was to un unplug the whole Thunderbolt dock and plug it back in, which is really irritating because I have a bunch of hard drives connected and I don't want that to happen. So that's something to be aware of. And again, it might be a function of this monitor. So um, the other thing that I've noticed is that, so I have those two Western Digital MyBooks plugged in. When I plug the dock in, only one of the hard drives brings up its drives on the, on the computer, which is odd. Uh, so I have to unplug the hard drive and plug it back in and it seems to be only one of the hard drives doing this so I tried switching the port locations where it was plugged in under the assumption that maybe this has a primary USB port that it likes to fire up first and that didn't help it was still that same hard drive that wasn't kicking on each time so that again might be a function of the hard drive and not of the dock but it's something I experienced so I wanted to tell you about it um, I tested firewire speed it doesn't appear to be any different than the FireWire port on my Mac. Um, the speed was pretty much exactly the same for this external drive. Um, this is a FireWire 800 drive. So the FireWire speed seems to be the same. Obviously the USB 3.0 is way faster than my USB 2.0 ports. Um, I tested some speed for SD cards, but the SD card speed is, is limited. Uh, the bottleneck is clearly the card and not the interface. So I didn't, I didn't experience any increases in copying files from SD cards. Other than that, um, I've been really happy with it. I'd like a couple USB 2.0 ports because I'm finding I want to just have everything just always plugged in. For instance, this keyboard, which I, I don't type at USB 3.0 speed, so um, it would be nice to have that plugged in. So I think I may look for a Firewire USB uh, hub or something so I don't waste my USB 3.0 ports. Um, I also have my audio my speakers plugged in. One thing I noticed is that when I plug the dock in for the first time, it makes a loud pop. Um, kind of similar to plugging in an audio port, so just be aware of that. 
Um, other than that, I've been pretty happy with it. Um, definitely happy with the speeds. I also will note that I, so I edit in Final Cut Pro, and Final Cut Pro, I beat it pretty hard this morning and last night, and it did not crash. It stayed up, and I've I've had it I've had it dump on me a couple times, and I kind of feel like it's a function of the dock. Actually, the speed of the hard drive, everything's able to keep up with itself. So, um, really happy with it. So, thanks for watching.